Hello. Today's setup is for the NASCAR Cup Series at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. 25% race, four times on the f fuel and tire wear. The other settings are there, you can see. Uh, here, the tire wear effect for the AI. I had it more, I set it to normal, um, but it's much more enjoyable to have a race against the AI with it more. Uh, I find it pretty tough to uh, keep up with the computer controlled cars when the tire wear is set to normal. The, uh, their fall off just is a lot less than the, the uh, human controlled cars. Though. So here's the setup, uh, it's pretty basic. As you can tell, I have a ton of wedge in it. Um, this is mostly because here if the car gets any bit loose you heat up that right rear and just rip it to shreds um, so i found probably tested setups here for a couple hours playing around one afternoon and uh settled on this here <clears throat> throughout a green flag run if you go the um i think 19 laps that you can on fuel uh you'll make it Till the end on fuel, your right rear will get down to about 10% with this setup. More if you drive it harder and less if you drive it a li little easier, but pretty much around 10% the whole time. I tried a uh, run where I drove hard for 19 straight laps and it did blow on me as I was coming to pit lane uh, as my fuel expired. So I've got this set up as fast as 30.75, I think. Uh, this lap here is going to be a 30.89. I don't nail um, the line, so that's part. That's partly why uh, it wasn't as quick. Um, but yeah, about 30.7 is the fastest I've seen for a lap around here. 30.6 too. Um, but with this speed, you'll easily have a a leg up on the computer controlled cars so here is just a couple laps on an actual race um, just going through uh, you'll see the, a little bit of the tire drop off we only go a couple laps in here but you'll run 30.7 30.8 for the first two laps and then go to about a 31 and then settle in for the next uh, probably last 12 or 13 laps at a 31.5.6. It's alright. Um, I set this, made this setup so it had a little bit more stability because if, if you get the car loose here, it's just a nightmare because the, the right rear wear will just go and go and go and go. So I like the, a tighter setup, have more stability, and keep that right rear underneath it. Anyways, uh, good luck with this setup. Hope it works for you. Uh, let you have some fun.